Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. If you remember, I had rescued some of the succulents from that container in which a lot of my succulents were getting rotted. Among them were my uh, Echeveria Ruby Slippers. I'll put the name on the screen. So these were the ones that I was able to uh, get out of that container. So this is how they tend to look right now. So this is how the plant looks right now. Uh, it has grown quite a bit. Uh, not in the best condition, but at least it's uh, growing. That's the best part about it. So uh, I have used a concrete pot and uh, you might have seen the clip how it looked earlier. But now you can see they are starting to look a little bit much better. And I see a lot of new growth. Uh, this is the stem wherein it broke. And now you can see there are some pups. Uh, there are some pups over here. Even over here, there are some pups. So as of now, the plant is doing well. Um, it has got established in this new pot and uh, a lot of new growth. The colors have also started to come back. Uh, now it's supposed to be uh, very red in color, but you know, currently it has been rainy. You can see all of the table is wet because of the rain. It's very windy, but so far uh, it has been a good success with this uh, succulent. Uh, I initially thought it wouldn't have survived because uh, you seen the condition when I took it out from the container but uh, now there has been a lot of new growth a lot of pups uh, growing on the stem which is a very good sign for the succulent uh, and the existing uh, leaves are also showing a lot of new growth uh, which is again a very good sign uh, you can see it has got wet now I thought that I'm going to do a cutting on it because uh, you can see the stem is very long so I thought that I will uh, cut them over here or probably over here but I'm just going to leave it now as it is because it's going to be raining for another couple of days so I do not want to do any kind of cutting as of now but uh, yes in future I am planning to do some cuttings because you can see the plant is uh, growing all haywire but I want to do a cutting probably uh, maybe in the next couple of months I will do the cutting as of now I will let it grow because I do see a lot of new signs of growth so that's all about it uh, now this succulent does require a good amount of light uh, preferably morning direct sunlight for five to six hours after acclimating it if you are going to keep it in indirect bright light it will still do quite well but the colors will not be much visible uh, these red colors will only be visible when it is exposed to morning direct sunlight or wherein tends to get a good amount of light now because this belongs to the variety of Echeveria it is in its growing period during the summers and I feel that is the reason why it started to put out a lot of new growth because uh, this was done during the summers. So I would say that this is a very easy to grow succulent provided you give the basic care requirements which is the soil has to be loose, porous and well draining. Ensure that the soil dries completely before you go ahead and water it and once you notice that the soil is completely bone dry then go ahead and do a complete watering until the water starts passing through the drain hole. As per the light I've already spoken about this uh, give it a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours after acclimating it. If you are a person who belongs to a place wherein the temperatures are extreme maybe during summers or maybe during winters then you can grow it under the grow light provided you have a good quality of grow light. But ensure that you're keeping it a little bit closer to the grow light because they prefer a good amount of light in order to get that bright red color. Now talking about pests, pests are not much of an issue but it's always better to do a routine check probably once a week or once in two weeks. If you notice any pest which is very rare in case if you happen to see any pest then you can go for any organic solution. Propagation is pretty simple. You can do a leaf propagation. You can even cut off the stem. This is one of the Echeveria that is going to have a very evident stem. So you can always do a stem cutting. Now guys, stem cutting is going to be much easy and much faster as compared to leaf propagation. So if you have an option, go for a stem cutting or separating of the offsets once they reach a decent size because both of these methods are going to work out really fast as compared to leaf propagation. Their dormancy is during the winters because they belong to the genus of Echeveria. Summer is their active growing period. So if you want to add any fertilizers, you can do it now during the summers. During winters, please do not add any fertilizers. Also, another important thing, if you already have nutrients in the soil, please do not add any more nutrients. Because remember, Echeverias prefer a lean nutrient soil. They do not like a very organic soil. So ensure that you're keeping the fertilizers as low as possible. So guys, that's all about this beautiful succulent. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.